Oh. Oh. It was a cold, cold night in the graveyard. The spirits were walking. Artificial light. I've got the lights on the, the LED lights on the webcam. Now turning very serious, Scooby, very listening. This character I've mentioned, I used to hang around with on his scooter, retired, same as me. Uh, bigger attitude problem, always threatening to punch people. And uh, I have said, and I, I have to phone Andrew, and he has to phone me because he runs an IT business and I have to handle his mail as he has no fixed address in Nottingham. He lives in hotels all the time. And Barry irritated because I'm always on the phone. And I told you, didn't I? He said to me, you was on the fucking phone. You should have it taped to the side of your fucking head. I said, Barry, let's go our own way. You be your way and I'll, I'll go mine. He says, well, piss off then. And I did. But it still comes down. I go over there at different times. I don't want to see him. I saw him last week and I just totally ignored him. And he has got the message. Now. <clears throat> Two of the tenants here, Maureen and Janet, they get a taxi from the court down to the post office to get their pensions and then back to the shops over there and outside the cafe where I used to sit with Barry, you know, having a coffee. And he still comes down. And Maureen, she had her grandson with her, Connor, and she, she says Asperger's, but she said before autism. So I don't know if there's any difference, but she says uh, last week, you know, he suffers with Asperger's. What I've heard her say before, he suffers, he suffers with autism. So perhaps it's the same thing, but anyway. She had a grandson, Connor, with her, and he's a very clever lad. He's got a brilliant mind, but uh, he's very sensitive, and he has to be handled with kid gloves. Stay, stay, Stephen will understand, because you've got a son with Asperger's, haven't you, Stephen? And this big Barry over there, who's not happy now, because uh, he's got the message that I don't want to know him. And Maureen sat with Connor outside, and... Uh, Barry shouts across in his fog old voice to Connor, Get off your big arse and go and get your grandmother a fucking coffee. And Connor just froze. His face went white. He was shaking and Maury was most concerned. And Barry marches in the shop and says to Connor as he walks past, Bloody women are only fit for fucking. And Connor, it just... Stephen will understand. It just blew his mind, and Maureen was holding him tight. And she said to a woman, "Go and tell him to shut his mouth." And uh, after after she got to come home, the family were outraged that anyone could talk to Connor like that, and they wanted to know where he lives, and they're going to sort him out. But Maureen said, "No, no, no, no. Leave it to me." So tomorrow, Tuesday, she will get her and Janet will get the the uh, taxi as usual to get the pension and they're going over there and Barry will be over there and Maureen's going to go for it. I said, give it him hammer and tongs, Maureen. Don't pull any punches. She said, don't you worry, I will. She said, it was disgusting. She said, Connor just didn't understand anybody talking to him like that. The poor lad, he suffers with Asperger's and somebody saying that kind of thing to him. The boy is furious and Barry's going to get it tomorrow. I said, well, I'm staying away, Maureen, because I don't want anything else to do with it. She said, I'm not surprised. So Barry has put his foot in his big, big, big mouth. And, and Maureen said, if her family, she's got a lot of sons, because I went to a surprise birthday party and I was surprised how many people were there. So she's got lots of sons. <coughs> She's got <clears throat> uh, grandsons, her own children, and they've all got mates. But Maureen says she don't want it to come to that, but she will sort Barry out tomorrow. Yeah. I'd like to be there to hear it, but no, I'm staying away. Right. Uh, I've already done an upload, but I got things wrong. I said Maureen's son, and, he, and Connor is not. He's Maureen's grandson. And uh, YouTube are already offering to improve the lighting. Well, I don't want them to. 
because I like it. Looks like I've been for holiday on the Arabian Gulf and I've got a glorious suntan. <laughs> but I haven't, no. So I'm going to upload this and I'm going to bed because it's now 16 minutes past midnight. The ghosty hour. Right. King Arthur is about to retire to his chariot. Yeah, I should be lying in tomorrow. I have to get up to get Andrew up this morning. And uh, God knows what time I'll get up tomorrow. So that's it, right? I'm off. I am. <laughs> Cheers.